Hey everybody, this is Crystal with Pure Photoshop Actions and I'm just going to show you really fast how to use the custom shape tool that looks like a grid to help you along with the rule of thirds. Um, I did this tutorial for Photoshop but I figured that I would show it really fast in Elements so if you want to watch the more detailed one um, view the Photoshop one and just know how to get access to yours in Elements. Um, so the custom shape tool in Elements is right here. It's beneath the gradient tool and it could look like any of these right here if the custom shape tool is not selected. So it could just look like that. So just right click that, hit custom shape tool, come up here, make sure and make sure that you have your shape selected. So you're going to choose, you're going to hit that arrow and make sure that you have all element shapes selected. And then you're going to come and you're going to find this shape right here. If you hover over it, it'll say grid. It'll look like nine little boxes. So select that, make sure it's up there, and then just click somewhere to get out of the picture. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put this shape onto the picture. And so right now I'm looking at this picture and I really like this area over here. I'm not a super huge fan of this tall tree right here. So, you know, it's not a super big deal to me if I lose that. So I'm going to drag this shape um, and I'm going to play around with it however I want. Um, and I really, I, I we're going to have to free, we're going to have to adjust that size of the shape because it's too big. Because rule of thirds states that it's more aesthetically pleasing to an eye if the subject of the picture, whatever it may be, is within these top, is within these four quadrants. It doesn't have to be the top ones, it can be the bottom. Um, depending on the picture. Um, your eye will naturally be drawn to those four areas whether you know it or not. Now it is a rule so obviously there's exceptions to the rules and artistic vision and stuff like that needs to be taken into account but as a general rule you want to obey the rule of thirds. So right now their face isn't in that rule of thirds so I'm just gonna uh, control T that shape, make sure that I am on that shape layer and then I can drag it and bring it up a little bit and drag it and there we go. Right now his eye is in the free trans is in that uh, crosshairs right there. I can bring it down just a little bit um, and then hit enter to accept the free transform. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and grab our nifty nifty um, crop tool and we're just going to crop that picture right there. So then you hit enter and then you can delete the, uh, the grid. Um, if you don't like the way that looks, um, control Z it to take you all the way back then you can do it a couple different ways. So if you come down here to your custom shape tool again and drag that sucker on, um, come over here and duplicate the background. So control J to duplicate it. And then we're going to control T that background. And let's see, we're going to we're going to bring that picture down and then bring it up and he's they're almost there so let's pull this area up a little bit more okay, and then come right here and they're pretty much right on target so let's pull this down just a smidge and voila, there we go. So hit enter to accept the free transform. Come over here, delete that shape layer. And we'll shift control E to merge those layers. So now I'm going to come up and I'm just going to do a really fast edit on this picture. Um, we're going to brighten them up a smidge and that's actually probably pretty much perfect right there. So shift control E. I'm going to run uh, Cloud9. Um, as you get to know me again, every image that I touch has Cloud9. I'm going to get rid of, mark that down a little bit, the snuggly warm. Um, that's pretty much good. I like that. Uh, select the black layer mask on Cuddly Soft and come and grab my brush. Make sure it's a white brush and at 
percent and I'll just start brushing that on and I can make my brush bigger because I know like over here like I just want to go fast time is of the essence and you can pay attention to where you're masking that um, okay pretty much got all that so then to make my brush smaller and come in here come right there and then oh and I hit a little bit of her face right there so let's go ahead and delete that with a black okay white again and I'm gonna bring it down to like 20 to 30 percent and I'm just gonna go over just the smidge of her back and the smidge of his back and hair just to kind of blend them all in together. Let's see. And I think we'll lower the opacity of that. And that is that. I'm going to delete this layer because I know I don't want it. So shift control E to merge them. Then I'm going to come down to where my L's would be. And I'm going to run look at that color baby. It's going to be a little strong for me. And it's definitely going to be strong on their faces. But it comes with a mask. So first I'm going to pay attention to this area out here. And I'm going to lower the opacity to where I want that area. And I think that's a good, that's good for me. It adds just a pinch of color and a pop. But I need to select that white mask. Make my brush black. Um, raise the opacity of that. And just kind of brush it off their face. And you'll notice... Um, when you do it, it, um, you know, obviously shows on the mask there. Um, just because I just don't like orange Oompa Loompas for my people. So that's that smidge of color. So again, like that's just basically how to use that um, custom shape tool to help you um, go by the rule of thirds. Again, you know, like rule of thirds, it is subject to artistic vision so don't feel bound by that at all um, there are some times that perfectly centered pictures speak volumes but um, as a rule you know as a general rule this is what you want to follow so that's that rule